So now we have the question with the, the curve installation. Now there was a question like this in 2022 and also in 2023. So I think it's likely there might be one in 2024. So who knows? So you have to do this on a spreadsheet. Every year this school is getting more pupils and a certain percentage are leaving. Now it's not a hugely realistic situation, but there you go. So we have to complete the spreadsheet. So we start filling in this cell, which is one minus the percent that leave. So one take away that number will give you the 82% that are left. Now each year, it'll be a whole number of pupils. So I'm going to use the round function. In the 2023 exam, they wanted you to use the int function. Round will round to the nearest whole number, int will always round down. Now, which one you use is, um, uh, is not something I can really justify, to be honest. Perhaps if you look at the question here, it says approximately 18%. So that could account for rounding up or rounding down, maybe. Use an absolute cell reference for the percent, and also an absolute cell reference for the new number that's being added on. And for round, you need to say zero decimal places. Then once you have the years down to 2031, as far as you go, you can double click on the green square and it'll tell you at the end, 761. Now this year, in the 2022, they weren't fussy about using round or int. So they gave you the marks either way, but I would recommend to use either one of the two, use, pick either round or int and use it for your recurrence relation formula. What have I done? I have, yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, comment on the precision of this prediction. It seems to me like a difficult question. Uh, the marking scheme says number of pupils may not be exactly 18%. The percentage might, might change each year. So you're basically just repeating what it said to you in the question. The percentage of pupils leaving each year is a percentage of pupils leaving each year is only approximate. Okay, so part B, comment on the relationship between time and the predicted school roll up to August 2031. I mean, the relationship means as one changes, how does the other change? So you can see that the um, number of pupils is increasing over time. So you would say something like that. Although I think it seems, it seems like a difficult question to me. Uh, the other thing the SQA marking scheme says you can say is you can say a positive linear, well not so a positive relationship, although it's not a linear relationship. It's increasing over time. Okay, now we're on to part C and it says you must consider what happens to the school role in the long term. What I would do here is I would extend the dates and you can select a few of them and then fill down. Now if you don't fill down far enough or you fill down too far, you can always fix it later. Fill down the formula once you have the dates, double click at the green square and we can see it levels out at 776. Uh, uh, pupils. And now we want, we want to make a graph of this, so you fiddle about a bit in Excel, uh, insert, and that's the charts there, and scatter graph could be one you could use, uh, and that one joins the, the dots up with lines. Once you've got that, you can also uh, add in some labels with the plus sign in the top right hand co corner, axis titles, and the vertical axis is number of pupils, horizontal axis is years. Although in this particular question, uh, you didn't get marks for those titles. So remember to print everything in value view and formula view uh, so the marker can see it.
once you're finished. You can see here is the uh, version of it from the SQA marking scheme, which is, is just the same as what we had. So use your graph to determine whether the new capacity is suitable. Well, you can see it only goes up to 776, then levels out. So yes, it would be suitable. So you could say it tends towards 776, or it has a limit of 776, so it is not expected to exceed 800 pupils.